So I'm here with Matthew from Flet Forge, and uh, he's very kindly going to show me how to forge a ski and do knife. If you go around the world and you look at uh, all the different cultures at the same sort of evolution, they've all had their own unique little knife. It's always been kind of the same, same sort of size, same sort of shape-ish, you know, give mm. and take, and it's all been for the same purpose, you know, food, clothing, just looking after yourself pretty much on a day-to-day -day mm. basis. Just a, it's like a, having a box cutter at work or something, it's, nice. it's like that, but it would have been for your everyday life, you know, nice. just there all the time. You never left your side sort of thing, you know? Nice. Just went and started filming with that. Yeah. But generally, I don't charge anything. See how I can do? Nice. See, it's not about power or anything like that. It's literally your distance. <laughs> yeah! Hey, where'd it go? <laughs> Into the fence. <laughs> Make sure it's nice. Make and it a bit thinner. Nice and straight. Ah, uh, yeah. You could make it thinner, but to be honest, for this type of steel, you won't want it much thinner than that. Okay. So you now working on the handle. Yeah, I'll do a wee bit of work on the handle, Just and then the, the, the wood burn onto that. And what do you say the the wood was from? It's from a whiskey barrel. From whiskey barrel. Somewhere in Speyside. Nice. You see the nice charring from the inside. So there's an oak. Yeah, solid oak. How far the whiskey got through the wood. Oh wow. Is so that sort of... You see how there's that wee bit of space mm. there for the antler? Aye. It smells like mulled wine. <laughs> Might have been a wine cask. <laughs> okay. So this is... We're heating it up to... Yeah. Um, yeah. Non-magnetic or... A potential quench. We'll see how it works out. Okay. It's looking pretty good. And quench. Woo. Yeah, if you overcook this, you just have to go back and do it all over again. Okay. Just put the rough handle on. So, in about three hours, we've gone from a rough bit of tractor steel to this big rough and ready scheme do. That's beautiful. The whiskey cask handle, red deer antler. That's awesome. Thanks so much, Maddie. So my genuine pleasure, it's been great That's fun. That's amazing. <laughs> Wait until you see you get some oil on that handle. Yeah, that oh amazing. that's a fav my favourite bit. Put please. Yeah. So I've said before in a previous video that it's nearly impossible to find a ski and do in the shops that's not just for ceremonial dress and can actually be used as an everyday functional bushcraft knife. So a uh, big thanks to Mr. Mac who got me in contact with Flip Forge and thanks again Matthew from Flip Forge for letting me uh, try out some blacksmithing and making me this really beautiful ski and do. Uh, Matthew also very kindly gave me a fire steel that's a bit more historically accurate to Scotland and he also kindly made my girlfriend a beautiful Celtic hairpin. So if anyone's looking for a knife or a functional ski and do handmade in Scotland then I'll put a link to Matthew's Etsy page in the description below you should go check it out and uh, thanks for watching everyone and hopefully I'll get to use this in a video soon. Thanks for watching.